Your boy is back after probably about three years of self-discovery, updating my business, quitting my last corporate job, to just experiencing so many different things. I'm so excited to be back. I'm creating this video as a placeholder to just like a benchmark of where things are to come and what that's gonna look like for me in general. This video is really an introduction to who I am, what I really believe in, what this is gonna be in the future, and I can't wait for you to join me along the way. I'm thinking for my channel, the format of what I wanted before was that I wanted to give a timeline of how I was growing with the business, but it was really difficult to kind of turn on a camera for me while I'm trying to build the business, while I'm also trying to manage people and trying to just build something for myself. If you go back to the previous videos that I have, there's a couple of them that are still up there, you'll see that there's a lot of changes, right? Like from my haircut to like the bags under my eyes to like my weight fluctuating. There's a lot of things that come into place and I don't think that I was in a crisis throughout that, but I felt as if I was prioritizing other people and putting others first instead of really nurturing and investing into myself. With that being said, I've started to understand what balance looks like and being in a space where I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't create content unless I felt as if it was authentic, something that I felt like I actually want to do. And this route for me has taken me years at that to be able to create it. If I go out to eat, I'm not worried about taking a picture of the restaurant, filming the restaurant, if I were to go hang out with my friends, I'm not worried about getting pictures and doing a lot of stuff with them. I just felt as if the authenticity that comes behind it, to me, took away from actually being present. So now that I see what presence looks like and impact and really being into it, I want to give you some tips that I wish people had told me as if I'm your brother and I'm giving you the advice that you have so you can use this in your everyday life whether you have a business, whether you don't, or whether you just wanna make stronger and firm decisions with your life, this would be the conversations between us that I think would be helpful, if not only to you, but to myself as well, to look back on when it comes down to those decisions. For those that don't know who I am, my name is Blake Van Putten. I am the founder of a business called Sice. Sice is a retail business. We are a clothing brand focused on creating clothing and using the proceeds to uplift and celebrate the black community. We've donated over $60,000 to different nonprofit organizations that help support black owned businesses, uh, fraternities, sororities, when it comes down to nonprofits, we've worked with them. We've also donated over $60,000 worth of product to uh, underserviced and underprivileged organizations that we feel definitely we can work with and we feel as if that that platform of using what we have to just elevate that. I started the business in the height of the pandemic right when George Floyd was murdered. I felt like we wanted to pivot and do something different and that's when I switched the business to be more from an agency which was the tips and tricks that I was giving to other people to a business that's social impact. We created a brand with the brand. The first collection came out it was called the Protect Black People Collection. That collection was really special to me. It still is our top selling uh, collection and it's a staple piece. From the collection, it started to get into different types of textiles, production methods, and a lot of dreams that I never envisioned that I'd have started to come true. Making a t-shirt design and now looking at a going into about our fifth season in New York Fashion Week to creating handbags and seeing people I've never met before with some of my products truly is a blessing. I'm really excited for what this is gonna look like. As far as just posting and everything, I'm, I'm looking for ideas and things that really hit my spirit and just really something that serves me. So that way I can show up and serve other people. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm super open. I have just like a soft schedule of different items that I want to really present to you guys. But it's really just coming in and something that I feel confident and good about. 
I want the overall goal for you with this channel is that way you can feel like you can come to me for anything and then you are confident with the decisions that you're making. It's really difficult whether you've been granted, this is an opportunity, but does it align with me? Here are my core values. Does this, align, does this align with my business? Does this even align with my personal goals? And being able to navigate those once in a lifetime opportunities to feel your utmost best version of yourself, that's my goal. Seeing people really elevate and being in a community, my return on things like this is that we get to build a new ecosystem where the businesses that we start today the decisions that people make if they are sound decisions and they're ones that people are navigating in true authenticity we can have a really incredible world where people feel safe comfortable and have the resources to develop to be the best version of themselves so thank you for tuning in i'm really excited for what this is going to be share this with your friends or just tell me what you think about it the format is going to be just a little all over the place while I figure it out, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'm very, very hopeful for what this is gonna be and I couldn't be more ecstatic for this. Thanks for tuning in.